let's get some BBT going. Um, yes, I'm well aware of that. I did connect one. I wish it wouldn't tell me that. There we go. Okay. It is actually responding to it. <laughs> I can't actually do anything until it gets to the menu. The same thing. What? Yeah. Super Meat Boy does the same thing. Even if you have a controller plugged in, it says, you know, like, thumbs over fingers or something like that. I, I, I don't know what to say. It's it's just... Eh, we didn't think it through thumbs sort of thing. Better than think. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Don't. I, 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 I get the impression it's, uh... Yeah. Um... I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I get the impression they just decided, well, you know, we'll add in that screen and we'll just not think about it after that, you know. Uh -huh. What's the big loss if we don't bother check? A big loss is that's annoying! Because I, I can't skip it, at least I can't skip it with the joystick. Uh, or gamepad, I should say, I suppose. Um, so it's like, oh, I, uh, maybe it's not actually connected. Maybe it didn't recognize it or something, you know? Ooh, maybe it's to mask loading. Dun, dun, dun. Who's your favorite thing? Never know. You know, normally I change the color, but I think that's pretty suiting for that, uh, that head. Oh, yeah, for the monkey. Gorilla monkey yeah, ape. Orangutan. For that dim there face. Oh yeah, and if you were wondering how many faces there are, just we we, we could stand here look, looking at this thing for a while. There's a lot of them. Um. Also, I, I'm not sure yeah. what that grid down here is. Maybe that's how many faces I've got. I don't know. That is interesting. Because the next one isn't lit up for the weapon. Oh, wait, no. It is lit up at top for all the weapons you got. So maybe that is all the faces. Hmm. I do not know. All I know but is you got to play this game a lot if you want to unlock everybody. Well. Oh. Hold on a sec. I just realized um, it's saying that the uh, it's saying my connection's not keeping up, and I know why. <laughs> oh yeah, well, let me do that. Hang on, I'll hang up and hang call you back. No 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 no. It well it, it, it's not because of Skype. Oh well. All right. Fine. <laughs> It's not because of Skype, though. But, yeah, yeah we'll, 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 we'll see if that does a difference, though. In the meantime, I get to hear the entire song of the hallways, which I haven't actually heard before. I've never actually just stood around to listen to it. Battle Block Theater OST on your iPod. What's an iPod? I'm sorry, your Zoom. What's a Zoom? <laughs> your MP3 player of choice. <laughs> um, but seriously though, uh, no, I, I, I actually don't. Wow. It's still cycling between red, yellow, and green. I don't think it can make up its mind. Uh, it's, if it works, it works. Unless it's saying it's my CPU that can't keep up? No, I think it's the network it's telling me. Are you talking about on Hitbox or on your... Uh... On, uh, on OBS. At the bottom right. It shows a... Uh, Kilobits, kilobytes per second. Oh, I'm 
I'm not sure actually. I never looked at that. Yeah, I normally don't pay attention to it because normally it's it, it's in green and it's in some high value, and now it's kind of cycling between colors, so I'm not sure. Oh hey, I didn't notice there was some down there too. Down this one. Down this one. Down this one. And then I'm pretty sure, yeah, at the end of the last episode, I unlocked all the heads I could. And anyway, we're here now. Time to find some gems. Time to find some gems. They're easy to find. Leaving with Alright, that's that's cool, yeah. Just start the level off with a freaking saw blade. That chases you. Yeah, why not? Darn it. <laughs> of course that didn't work. Of course that didn't work. <laughs> the one time you want it to work. Yeah. Well, technically, I always wanted to work, but. <laughs> True. Oh, that's interesting. Whoops! I couldn't remember what was down there. I think water's down there. Really? I couldn't tell at this point, you know? Oh! Come on! Yeah, I figured, oh, you know, if I get hit afterwards, not a big deal. <laughs> nope. There we go. There's one square of water. The one square of water got me. I did not mean to do that, and I'm glad I did it anyway. Yeah. Oops. That, however, <laughs> was me being a little uncautious. Alright, OBS seems to have calmed down a bit, so I'm, I'm hoping that uh, there should be a little bit less lag on the stream eventually. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. Oh wait, hold on. I need to get the hidden gem. So are you using the X360 or Steam controller still? Uh, the 360 actually, um, I completely forgot to... Uh, have a look at the Steam controller after it, um, after the stream that where I I figured found out that it was being weird. So yeah, it's still just sitting on my desk, waiting for me to pass a verdict on it or something. Wow, that was completely ineffectual. There we go! Uh, that's more like it. <laughs> that's 
probably the correct way to go. Or not. Oh, I have no idea if I was actually supposed to do anything that over there. Um, well, I guess I can put this here. Was there anything else here that I might have missed? No, that's all ice. There's no, uh, no potential for hidden passages or no teleporters and stuff, so. Oh! Okay, let's see. Sawblade and these nasties. Ow! Well, not so much ow as it is. I almost got myself thrown into a sawblade, which would have been ow. I don't know how that didn't hit me. Well, I mean, technically it hit me, it just didn't do anything when it hit me. Whoa! Crap. That's what happens when you play around near saw blades. Oh, crap! Oh, there it I'm 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 sorry. I'm not saying anything. I'm, it's, I'm more just marveling at your uh, your deftness and the required skill for this. Yeah, I'm not exactly saying much myself. Um, although I, I I have been thinking that maybe I should um, try doing the whole screen sharing thing on Skype so you can see faster. I mean, if you want to, that's cool. If not, I totally understand. Your internet's not the best. Just shit, mine barely supports it. Uh oh. Oops. Dang it. And no, that that was some Windows 10 notification again. Oh. Uh. I I probably have gotten you a mail or. Facebook post or tweet or something. Um, okay. Although, uh, do you have Hitbox set up for your Twitter? Because that probably is what it is. Um, actually no. I, I don't have it set up for my, with my Twitter or anything. No, oh, I I just let people figure out that it's there because you're, you're I'm losing weird. on Prime, you know, spam bot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Prime usage of spam bots. Yeah, I I love it when spam bots are like, "Hey, would you like to pay for Twitch viewers?" And I'm like, no. <laughs> you love it, but you don't use it. Well, it's like, who? What kind of, like, what is there to be gained from having? Okay, so let's say you get a thousand fake viewers, right? Then I'd imagine for, for in, on Twitch, it, it wouldn't even be fake viewers; it'd just be fake subscribers. But you have to pay for them. Like you're paying them money for the service for the fake subscribers. Like, viewers. like but my yeah. point is, what is there to be gained from that? Um, it, it, they're mostly enticing people who are going for the the numbers um, uh, amusingly depending on how hitbox deals with the whole uh, subscribers thing um, it may actually be to your detriment to pay for uh, fake subscribers and the reason I say that is that um, someone recently well I should say recently I don't remember when the article was posted but, um, someone had once, uh, actually, it wasn't even, it wasn't even, uh, from a spam post or anything. They had actually paid Facebook for, uh, for advertising and, and, and whatnot. Basically, they were supposed to get, uh, you know, 
X number of, of subscribers or likes or whatever. And uh, it turned out that a lot of them had actually come from uh, clickbots. Right. And um, the reason that actually ended up being negative is that since these were essentially bots or people who just click on whatever, um, it, they ended up with no uh, actual engagement. Like, there, 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 there were no people actually paying attention to the content. So, as a result, um, they, they, you know, they didn't end up being automatically promoted or put on the... I want to say on the front page, but Facebook doesn't have a front page. I don't remember what mechanism it is exactly. Um, and... Uh, it was just a waste of money. It, it was a waste of money, but I, that also, like, it's... Basically, Facebook ranks how interesting your content is, in, basically, in, in terms of percentage. So because they they went from a like relatively high percentage of, of readers to uh, j just about none in, in, in percentage... Um, they, their content was no longer getting promoted. So it actually... It, it wasn't just a waste of money, it actually screwed them over. I'm probably explaining it the worst way possible, though. No, 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 I, I get what you're saying, though. I understand what you were saying. So if, if Twitch or, or Hitbox does anything similar where... The, you know, the fake subscribers results in you... Um, not getting promoted on the front page or however the hell you get on there, uh, then it might actually just harm you to go for that sort of uh, paid promotion. But how else am I supposed to get my my sixty nine thousand dollars, you know, for ten million subscribers? Um, fake it? Oh. Well, that's not fair. <laughs> we were talking about, don't fake it, and then I go, fake it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I have to do is set up several servers <laughs> and, sim and simple AI. Uh, watch the broadcast constantly. Yes. Is, right? Yes. From different IP addresses. Yes. Also, for once, so you I... may have noticed. Yeah. <sighs> oh, you got the hat. I brought the cat, uh, brought the hat to the end, and of course it took me so long that I didn't get the time bonus. Yeah, I think it was because you got hung up on that one cat. Yeah. That's fine. Do it again, but better this time. That's what the announcer would say. Yeah, that's what he would say. A plus is so close, I can smell it, or something like that, and then I got crushed by a buller. One of the most easy to avoid boulders, and it got me. Well, the important thing is that you learn your lesson, and it'll never happen again. 300 deaths later. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, that's right, I packed up all my books. Shit, plan B is the problem. Uh, you were, you were gonna read stuff. Uh, nice. Dungeon Dice Monsters, a new strategic board game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
now. No. You're fine. You're doing alright. So... Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um... So, do you... Do you, you know about, uh, the Purdy's Chocolatiers? No, I don't. Oh, okay. But you said chocolate, and I want chocolate now. So you could have said that you had generic Hershey's bullshit chocolate. Yeah. Ah! Are they famous chocolate ears? Um. Yeah, they're pretty darn good. But I don't. I I don't think they're all that known. Um. Outside of Canada. Ah. Okay. And I'm pretty sure they're Canadian, and I I don't know why they're not outside Canada, but. Eh. Probably branding issues. Not a lot of people buy like fancy chocolates over here unless it's like Jardelli. But even then, that's not so much fancy as it is like. Yeah, and then you've got brands like Laura Secord, which people say is good, and I don't know, I just can't stand Laura Secord chocolates half the time. I've never even heard of them before. Really? Okay. Yep. I didn't think they were Canadian. <laughs> Laura Secord, really? I know Jardelli. Um, I know Jardelli. Uh, the company that makes Toblerones. Yes, because Toblerone is awesome. Yeah. I know some people would not agree with my assessment of that, but that's too bad. It's true. What, is it, there are people who don't like Toblerone? Blasphemy. Oh, well, that's my opinion on it. Why am I even lugging this thing up here? Where oh, hold on. Alright then. Be that way, game. Oh, wait, I can't bring that up here. Crud. There we go. What the heck? Dang. Ah! Uh, okay. ah! It, it's that that was kind of embarrassing, actually. <laughs> That is a very oddly precise jump you make there. The jump itself isn't all that precise, it's the, um... Well, the, the timing is precise, yeah. Yeah. That sucks. See, that in the business is what we call a restart. I've been playing way too much payday. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about right. When you just go, I do, I do. I give up. Can't even do it. Can you not jump up or jump while you have the rock? Um No, you can't even you can't even pretend to jump actually. Uh, okay. Um This level sucks. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just being slow and terrible there, that's how you do it. Then again, you know, I am on whatever chapter this is, and I'm getting close to the end, so... This is the final chapter, IIRC. Yeah, so it should be easy, right? It should be, uh... You know, it should be possible. Yes! Suck it, game! Also, don't jump your other spikes. Yeah. 
That's good. I almost got it sliced in half. Whoa! Okay, that, that does get me there. Even if I'm ducking. Oh crap! Yes, yes, my, my, my ears are functional, cat. Just checking. Sound test, sound test, sound test, sound test. Right, Minnie? Well. Owner's paying attention to me. Maybe he's gonna pet me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm busy streaming. But I can do that after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I found it amusing that clouds will stop giant lasers. Giant oh, freaking lasers! Well, it's just condensed, you know, condensed air, man. Negative and positive electron. Actually. I, I I I could see a cloud stopping a laser. I just, you know, but a, a beam of fire. I don't know. Then again, what is a beam of fire? Laser. Ah, oh, yeah. You didn't think of that, did you? It, 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 uh, but uh, the, but that means but that means light is fire and, and fire is is light and, and wait, how does that even? I can set things on fire with light. Well, actually, that's true. It's a sufficiently charged laser. No way, All right. no Unfortunately, I must do it again. And again. And again. Until you get it right. What was the name of, uh, that one, uh, that, that one guy, I think it was in Greek mythology, who had to, uh, push a boulder up a mountain? Uh, oh, uh, oh God, what's his name? Anyway, feels like that guy. Sisyphus. Oh, it was Sisyphus. Damn it. I was I was rem remembering the quote like Sisyphus I am bound to hell, but I was I, I, as a result I was thinking that was someone else. Oh boy! Oh boy! Wasting any time this time, no siree. Oh crap. <laughs> I was doing so well. I underestimated the amount of space I needed for that. so much time before the stream that I completely forgot what I wanted to do before. Yes, I'll, I'll probably be, um, I'll probably be screwing around with, uh, stuff on Undertale and see if I can uncover any mysteries. Oh? Any, any of, like, the gaster stuff and whatnot? Yeah, mostly that. Um, I want to see I if... it's been plumbed pretty clean, but anyways, you were saying? 
Eh, I don't know. To me, to me, the whole story feels uh, incomplete. We we still don't know anything about him. Yeah. Well, we don't know. We don't know if. We, oh, we're dang it! We the we fact that that know. jump actually worked distracted me. <laughs> um. I mean, we know who he is, but we don't know. Like, can we? Like, is, is there any way to, is there any hidden content that we might access, but, I don't know, the fact that people already know how to get to the, I guess you could say, hidden rooms, the not connected rooms, you'd think they would have found something, but... Maybe they all found something secret that they can't share, otherwise they incur the wrath of Toby. Well, there is that one sound file that tells you not to. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. There's also, like, uh, what is it, at the end of Trilby, The Art of Theft, uh, Yahtzee tells you that to tell people that if you beat the game with the golden suit, which makes you very super visible, um, that it unlocks John Travolta mode or something like that, when in reality it doesn't do anything. I'm sorry, Yahtzee, I ruined the secret on the internet forever. Um... I think I missed something there. He says that... Oh. Is, uh, in so Trilby the Art of Theft, there's like unlockable clothes and stuff? Yeah. And if you use the most difficult clothes, which make you super visible, mm -hmm. and it's a stealth, it's a stealth stealing game. Yeah. And you beat the game with that. Then there's a little message from Yahtzee where he tells you to tell people that it unlocks John Travolta mode, when in reality it does not. <laughs> uh, trolling the spoilers. Tweet this now! It would have been more effective if there was a button or something. Also, I didn't actually notice there was a gem there. I just felt like jumping behind the tree to check. <laughs> That's a game I had to get you to stream. You, you like stealth, steely, sneaky, sneak games? Uh, to an extent. I, I, I played the game a bit and after... Like, I don't know what it is. Something made me lose interest in it. You're also on a really strict timer. Yeah, I, I I think what I didn't like about it was was something to do with timing. Ah, timing. dang it. Timing or uh, well, not timing, but um, time constraints. But that's how you gotta get that A rank, yo. I don't want no stinking A rank? Question mark. Oh, wait a minute. I, I both hate and love games that, like, require you to do good to get a rank. Like, okay, here's how weird I am. Don't forget that, that gem hidden behind the trade again. Um, I, I love it when a game rewards me for getting S ranks across the board, but I hate it when a game locks out content unless you get S ranks across the board. Yeah, I know. It's 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 like yeah, the game actually acknowledges that I'm that good, and then I'm not that good. Why why am I being locked out of this shit? Exactly, and it's, it it doesn't seem like there's a difference, but there's totally a difference. Oh, there is. Yeah, because I don't know. Okay, Give me I. A hat. S ranking, but like, don't lock me out of, um, one of the most famous ones that I hate is Mega Man Zero, I want to say four, where Zero it, four? Um, <laughs> no, no, zero <laughs> three. Uh, no, I, I know what you mean. It's, I, 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 I know that it's this, this series is called Mega Man Zero, I just find it ridiculous that, anyway. 
um, where you, uh, you know the Mega Man thing where you kill a boss and you get powers, right? Yeah. Well, in Zero Three, you only get powers if you kill the boss and you get like an S rank killing that boss. Mm hmm. So, it's, uh, a bit much. Capcom will unlock super... Dang it. I completely forgot the word I wanted to use. Super taunt mode. Yeah, sorta. Plus, it's one of the ones that has, like, grinding in it and, like, paid grinding. Especially when it's, like, it's superficial grinding. Where it's, like, just front-loaded into the game. Like, uh, imagine if there was an RPG where every time you started over, you had to grind to level 10. But, like, there's no real point to it because it takes, like, 10 minutes and it's the easiest thing to do. You just beat up on slime. There's a there's an explodey guy at the thing. If you drop down. Or you can do it that way. Oh, you mean the, the floor? Yeah. I, I couldn't use that one to get up the, uh... Well... I'll get to... Hold on, just... That was out of sync. Um... Yeah, I, I could have used that, I suppose, though. Eh? Oh, well. Yep. I, 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 I guess it's once I got there, I was like, eh, it doesn't matter, I can... I can just keep jumping once I'm in there. Well, yeah, yeah, but the exploding guy will get you up there. A bit more. Block. It's not a guy, it's a block. Guy. It's a guy, he explodes, he's a floaty guy. I'm like, I'm like an old person talking about the Super Mario's. Yeah. <laughs> also, that death very anticlimactic. Yeah, that was one of the, uh... At least you don't have to push 30 blocks anymore. Yeah. Yeah, there's that. Hey, wait a second, there's a secret gem there. How... How could I have possibly died there? I just picked up a jetpack. You didn't tap it. Obviously, I'm a, I just... I, must, I, I needed to triple tap it when I only double tapped it. Or... I don't know. Also, I find it amusing when you drown on the what? edge of water like that. Oh yeah, it was like blah, 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 blah. when you could just reach out and uh, just grab the ledge. Yeah, it's a fake oh, wall shit. right there. <laughs> it's a fake wall right there, buddy. Just, just swim out. Just walk over. It's okay. You are taller than the water, my friend. <laughs> That's <laughs> something else that's occurred to me in the past. Oh, freaking. I managed to avoid that the entire freaking game. Except it got me that time. They finally got me and said, ha ha. Not now! I'm in the middle of a jump! <laughs> oh. And sure enough, that got me killed. <laughs> hey, you can get this hat, by the way, just saying. Oh, I'm certainly not getting that hat. I can't even try to get that hat. My hat is gone! Yeah, you messed up. It's gone forever. There's, there's something, um... I don't want to say ironic, it's not quite the right word, but... 
there's, there's, there's just something to the fact that the first time I wanted to get that gem, I got it without, without even trying, so to speak. And now, I, I can't even get back to it. It's, it's like it's suddenly become really difficult for me just to fall into the right place. You're getting gradiated just now. Calm down. It's okay. <sighs> ah! All you Stage gotta do three is failed. Four. It's okay. It's not that hard. <laughs> no, no. You did it. Let's go the easy way this time. Woohoo! Angry man! He looks like 1920s mobster. Eh, yeah! Hey. Yeah, I, I kinda got that vibe from it too. Angry mobster man! Oops. I know, like that. I know this is not the way I should be going. I don't know how I survived that, but I did. No. I don't know how I survived that, but I'm glad I did. Oh, God dang it! And here I thought I'd finally be done with this level. Nope, not yet. Not yet. This is your own personal purgatory. You have to complete this before you can ascend. I get to ascend? Yay! Yeah, you get to ascend to Super League Boy. Oh. You know, that, that seems to be, um, a recurring thing with games. You mean with games or with Edmund McMillan? No, or to, uh... Oh, did he also make, um... Binding of Isaac? Yes, he did. Okay. Um, no, I've, I've seen it in a bunch of other games. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not all by Edward McMillan. Well, yeah. I don't know. Uh, hell, hell is an interesting trope, because, like, what's more badass than fighting Satan in, like, power armor or whatever? Pro tip, nothing. Nothing is more bad. Just once, I want a game to have heaven instead. There are a couple that do. <laughs> None of them come to mind, but I've seen it before. Like, spoiler alert, the final boss of this game called Luminous Ark. Which is a tactical RPG on the Nintendo DS that you will never have and probably will never ever play is God. You have to kill God in that game. And then the secret final boss of Dragon Quest V is God. But why would you kill God? That doesn't make any sense. Because he's there and he challenges you to be really strong. I see. The question is, the question is, if you could fight God, why wouldn't you? Why would you? Why wouldn't you? You'd be badass. Well, are you telling me if, if you could play God in like a children's card game, you wouldn't fight against him? I would. I would ten times out of ten. Uh, and then if you win, you can tell everybody that you beat God, and no one will believe you. I just think you're a crazy person. Yeah, see the whole they oh, dang it. The whole they'll think you're a crazy person is is kind of relevant. Unless they've played the game. In which case they might be jealous. Or who knows, maybe they'll shrug it off and say, yeah, I don't know, that game. Too easy. Everyone's beating God. You, you know it's gonna happen. That would be that would be an awkward like conversation. Yeah, everybody's being God. Sick and 
tired of playing against him in the first time. <laughs> yeah, you're not really good at the game unless you grind against God. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, that can be interpreted in more than one way. Oh, of course. <laughs> but, you know, whichever way you want to take it, that's fine. <laughs> hey, you know what I just noticed that's really nice about this level? What's that? They didn't put any cats. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Why am I thankful there are no cats? <laughs> what has this game done to me? I don't even know where I would put them. They'd probably mostly all fall to their death at the very beginning of the match. I'd probably put like the vacuum cleaner cats, those ones will get you. Yeah. Stupid for cats. Actually, you could probably just call them vacuum cats, because I'm pretty sure they don't clean in any anything. Except maybe for themselves. Because, you know. That's just cats. Yeah. Inherited cats and all that. How many games has Edward McMillan done anyway? Uh, quite a few. The only really big ones that everyone's everyone's played though are Binding of Isaac and uh, Super Meat Boy. But he's done he's done a few. Most of them are like really creepy or really like you know disturbing on purpose. He did Dead Baby Dress Up one through four. I remember vaguely remember this being mentioned. Popular. Yeah, remember when Dress Up games were popular? Yeah. Uh, actually, no. I don't know that they ever really became popular. I remember when they were popular. They were popular to make at some point, as though someone decided that this, this was the next fad. But I don't know that anyone ever really played them. So what the fuck are you gonna yeah. do? Desperate teens on Newgrounds. I'm so bored. Oh, I know. I'll make a dress-up game. <laughs> yeah, that you couldn't, like, I don't know. Maybe do... that's what I need to do for my next project. Slime dress-up game. And it's just like, put a little hat on a slime. I'd play that. Yeah. I'd play that one time. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do anything except for put a hat or... Uh, put horn horns or stuff on, on it, like... You could put, like, a little monocle on him. That'd be cool. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm tempted to say it should be intentionally bare, but just have this really wide <laughs> variety of this, like, w these one or two things you can put on him. <laughs> just a wide variety of hats. Yeah. That is one dastardly jump. I don't remember how I did it the first time. I think you were really low, is the thing. Huh. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to smack nice. myself with it. Can you shoot that? Oh yeah, I don't think it'll stick if you shoot it from the air though, will it? If you shoot in the air? Yeah. You yeah. Shoot your, your little hat gun. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess it will. Yeah, it, it, oh. it's, it, it, it's more dependent on the surface than anything else. Time to restart. Oh, nope, you fell down. I probably would anyways just for time reasons, but that's just me. Well, you got your wish. As you were saying that. Yeah! 
You ever watch or read or do you know anything about Zatch Bell? Konjiki no Gash. If you're a weeaboo like me. Mm, nope. Sorry. Oh, okay. That's fine. I was gonna say the first name sounded familiar, but it might just be coincidence. No, Zatch Bell is like the story of this kid who has this, uh, this like little monster kid. And they, like, Magic, and it's shown in anime. You know, fight with spirit. I see. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's fine. Mad slamming of buttons. Tired. I see. <laughs> no, no. I was. I was sorry. I wasn't trying to to make it seem like I wasn't interested. It's just. Hardcore feeling for me. I've just been pretty reading it as all. That feeling when you're like in, when you're reading something and you're like 10 chapters in and you're like, how many chapters is this again? 350? Oh. Oh. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> <laughs> and I managed to smack myself with the, with the nerf gun. I mean the arrow gun. Nice. But if you're into shonen uh, stories where like people fight other people, like I, I, well, that's why you don't do that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You'll see it in a moment. So yeah, um, I I don't know if it was the same subject, but you were you were talking about something on the other chat about something being shown in, and I'm, I'm I don't know what that even means. Oh, uh, shown in is Japanese for like young males, and um, it's it's commonly used as a demographic for like I wrote this for you know I wrote this for shown in or. CNN, which I believe is like the older demographic, or Shoujo, which is uh, young girls. Um, shonen just means young young boys, so it's it's usually your uh, your dramatic, action-packed stuff for kids. So like uh, your Dragon Ball Zs or your Naruto or your Bleaches and stuff like that, as opposed to like your serious drama, which is CNN or um, like your magical girls, which would totally be shoujo. Unless you're talking about like Maduka Maduka, which is very safe. Then. Okay, that's cool. Sorry, so yeah. wait. Yeah, Shonen was yeah. middle age? No, Sh Shonen was a uh, young boy. Oh. Yeah. So. So when I say something shown in, just like, just like, it means it's very action-packed. Uh, the drama is sort of superficial. Ah! Except, except if it's well written. There's always well written stuff for kids. Well, yeah, you want them to. Uh, you still want yeah, them to get to experience uh -oh. good stuff. I always like laugh. At, at like people who are like X is for kids. I'm like X may be designed for kids, but there's still like outstanding things in that genre. Mm -hmm. I've got plenty of an animated movies that are technically for kids, but are really good. Uh, yeah. Well, I I like it when um. I like it when the authors are able to mix the two together. You know, you can have you can have the the jokes for kids. You can have the the cartooniness for the kids, and then you can have some 
discreet adult jokes. Yeah. Or that sort of thing, yeah. you know? A lot of um, old school cartoon movies pulled that off really well. And then you got things like Animaniacs. Yes, which are pretty hilarious if you're, you know. If you haven't seen it in a while, you should give it another shot. Good night, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I'm like at the edge of my seat whenever you get this far, I'm like I really want you to succeed. I don't know how I'm going to do that jump though. I, I, I got lucky last time in that I was able to stand right on the edge of that block. Uh, and it was that close to actually finishing it. Also, I'm hoping there's only six gems in this level because I'm not seeing the seventh one anywhere. So that's a thing. I'll keep my eyes open for anything suspicious. Oh, there it is, actually. It's right above the exit, which is why I didn't see it. I didn't bother to go up there. Because it was like, oh, well, the exit's there. Well, there's other stuff I need to get first. Logic. Mr. Spock. <laughs> so you're pretty genre savvy, right? You, uh, read a lot, or you've read TV tropes once or twice. Uh. The site, yes. Dang it. How do you feel about MacGuffin? Like, like, blatantly generic MacGuffin quests. I don't think I've ever died there before. Um. Uh. Give me an example. I mean, I know what you uh, mean, but I, I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Yeah, Inu Yasha, where the whole point of the show is that they were going after these spirit gems. Wait, have you seen that show? No. Oh, uh, well, what about Dragon Ball Z and the freaking Dragon Balls? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're MacGuffin y. The balls are inert. And all that. Yes. I actually Vegeta. don't know much about the, um... The plot anymore. Mostly because the plot is so stretched thin that, uh... Yeah. Wait, does it have one? <laughs> yeah, Dragon Ball Z has a plot. It's, uh... You know, bad guy alien shows up. Fight the bad guy alien. But sometimes it's a robot. Ooh, I want to see the robot. <laughs> uh, no, you don't. They look like people. Oh. They're not like cool robots. See, that's where like Dragon Ball versus Dragon Ball Z is very different. You know, because like the Dragon Ball had like a very I don't know different plot, and it actually didn't have all this power level bullshit and like. It was like these these ragtag kids going up against a military group. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Uh, oh, like refresh my memory. Did they make an animated series that reached the that that reached North America of, of the original Dragon Ball? Yeah, yeah, it came out over here. Okay, I see. Cause I, I for the longest time I, I I could have sworn that there was a Dragon Ball before Dragon Ball Z came out, and um. I couldn't remember what the hell the original was. Oh, you couldn't remember Dragon Ball? Yeah, I don't think I've seen it. And of course, if you try to do a search for Dragon Ball, it's like... Always Zed, yeah. Zed, 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 Zed. Lincoln Park A and B. Crawling in my skin. That was Lincoln Park, right? Um, I don't know. I I I think I've heard about three Lincoln Park songs. Yeah, "Crawling in My Skin" should have been one of them. Um, it wasn't. Oh. <laughs> what about Nine Inch Nails? Or you know, Disturbed. Jeez, it's hard not to know about Nine Inch Nails if uh, you've ever played Quake 2. 
<laughs> I've actually never played Quake 2. Did they do the soundtrack? Um... I, th I think they did part of the, the soundtrack, but um, I, I think there's also a bunch of references to it. Um, nice. I, I, for some reason, I want to say that it was it was written somewhere. Like, if uh... God dang it. Um, did Quick do have a help file or a help screen of any, of any sort? I, I, I want to say that. Um, oh no, I don't remember what it was. Um, the ammo boxes for the nail gun would actually say N-I-N on them. <laughs> and for a while, I was like, well, what the hell's N-I-N? And, uh, I think it was my father who said it jokingly, not even knowing that Nine Inch Nails was a band. I was like, well, maybe that means they're Nine Inch Nails, and I'm like, oh, I get it. Yes, that's what they're referring to. <laughs> I just, I don't know how to follow that up. Uh, I remember that every video game on PlayStation 1 that had, like, a uh, soundtrack from real-life people, except Tony Hawk, had to have fucking Rob Zombie's Dragula in it. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure something out for that. Um... Is it, has it stumped you? Froggy, you're my savior. Oh, you're gonna summon the frog. Yes, the ultimate cheat. I mean... Strategy. Pro strat. Pro strat! It's not cheating, it's pro strat! <laughs> or maybe I could just glitch myself through the wall and pick up the urn. Once again, so sorry, go ahead. No, 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 you go. Uh, I was just gonna make some lame comment about once again going down the bubble bubble gum walls. Oh. Just I was just gonna say, um, do you watch any, like, um, or, you know, read? I don't know. You don't do much anime stuff, do you? No. It's, it's, it's not your particular, uh,. Hey, remind me, what does Flaw de Vive mean? Sorry, repeat that? Joie de Vive. Oh, um... I guess you could say Joy of Life. Enjoyment of Life. Ah, uh, okay. Could you use that to describe something? Someone... Yeah, you, you, you could say, um... It, it, it could be used as a way of saying, what is your passion? What's the joie de vivre? Um, but, um, yeah, no, it's... it's Anime is, isn't something that... Um, that generally gets my, my, my interest. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why offhand. It just kind of... It's just kind of, eh. I understand, I understand. So what's your, uh, what, what is your joie de vivre when it comes to entertainment? Or do you really just, like, cause I play a lot of games, but I do, I watch, and I read, I read more anime than I watch. Which I guess I should be saying I read manga, but that makes me sound like a, like a, Weibo? Something. Yeah, thank you. I, I couldn't remember that word for some reason. Why would you want to? Eh. It's not exactly a nice word. No, it's not. But on the other hand, like, it's it's accurate for that really annoying guy that sits in the middle of the hallway in a bookstore and just makes you want to strangle him to death. I hate those people so much. You do that? No, I don't do that. Why would I do that? <laughs> Adult. 
Wow. Um. Not sure I've ever, I've, I've ever had that problem in. A, oh wow. I I I. The way I died there, you'd think I was intentionally dodging every way I could have survived. Yikes. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't I don't think I had that problem in my high school uh, of people like just reading out in the middle of the hallway. Or at least not not anywhere where there wasn't space for it. Oops. But then again, we I, I don't think we are we were ever um, like. I, I, I don't think we ha had a, a situation where we had more students than space, basically. And well, uh, I would run into it mostly at bookstores for, for some aspect of reading Naruto in the, uh, the bookstore hallway when I'm trying to get down and get you know some respectable good anime. You know, I'm no taste. Don't matter. I only read the good stuff. No, no, that's that's not what I was going to comment on at all. I was going to say I'm, I'm not sure what it's like at at the comic book stores because I don't. I, I've, jeez, I've hardly ever gone to them. I, I, I think I've gone to a comic book store once. <laughs> now that I think of it. Yes, a total of one times. In plural, just to make it additionally awkward. I completely screwed this up. I, I, I could have done this faster. Anyway, yeah, that one time, um, what was I buying? I was buying, uh, I think it was a Sonic Three, comic, actually. 76. Oh, okay, Sonic the Hedgehog. Hell yep. yeah. And it was actually about uh, Mecha Sonic, so that was kind of nice. Okay. Um. Can't you can't see, but I'm nodding intently. Sorry, I, I was gonna say more about it, and I'm I'm, I'm just getting completely annoyed with this puzzle because apparently I've I've done this all wrong. Can you not push them through the cloud? No, that's that's the whole reason they're there. Um. I don't remember this taking me so much time ever. This is, this is, duh, duh. oh, I, 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 okay, I see it now. All right, let's try not to fail at that this time. Like fuck it, I'm gonna do it again. We'll start. We're gonna do it live! We're gonna do it live! What is the name of the achievement that I got earlier? To... No, no, that was last night. God, my schedule was fucked up. Uh. In Humble game. Payday 2. Payday the, the mask. Because that's what anybody plays this game for. But I haven't changed my character's mask in like 30 years. So. I don't know why I keep trying to unlock more and more. Masks. Eh. Yeah. That's what I said to masks. Eh. 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 You don't know. You don't know how it feels until you start collecting masks. Then it's like, you're like, I need them. I need these masks. Yeah, but I have so many heads for this character and I hardly ever use them. Yeah, but if I don't get them all, then how am I going to be the best collector ever? Gotta catch them all. Yeah, masks. Masky mons. Yeah, um, I've, I've actually never been all that fond of, of collectibles of that sort. I mean, they're nice, don't Have get it. me wrong, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I just... It's, I couldn't care less if I don't get one, you know? Oh, are you kidding me? I'm waiting to see- Ah! Oh. 
Yeah. No. Sour about life. <laughs> that, that's, that's an expression I haven't heard in a while. Who was Sour it? about life. Yeah. There is, there's... It's, it's something that was used, um... In this region, but it was, I, I've also heard it on uh, on YouTube, and I can't remember who it was who kept using it. Oh, Northern Lion does, I think. Oh, Northern Lion. Nothing wrong with that guy, he's alright. If you're really into Binding of Isaac. Yeah, either really into Binding of Isaac, or you're willing to wait for whenever he does his next thing. <laughs> And you're totally okay with him not being all that great at games. <laughs> yeah, he's he's not the best, but uh, there are certainly worse people out there. Yeah. But you can tell he he got popular just through like sheer force of numbers. At least I think. As opposed to. Oh, uh, as in as opposed to like just. Oh, dang it. Having some sort of cheap trick that basically gets people to like him. Yes. He doesn't have... He just, I mean, he's got a stage... He's got a stage... Gimmick, I guess. But he's, he's... I don't know. He's more honest than most of the other ones. Like, I can imagine he acts just like he does. Yeah, he, he seems more of a genuine personality. Yes. As opposed to someone like PewDiePie, if he acted like that in real life, then... Yeah. I'd help him. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'd think of him uh, if, if I met him personally, he was like that. Yeah. Although, I, I, I suppose from, um, from force of habit, he might be that way now. <laughs> oh god, yeah, it's just a lie told enough times you kind of became the truth. Yeah. It's definitely one of those cases. I mean, if it happened to him. Right. Lie told often enough becomes the truth. Oh no! Okay! The worst part of that, about having to repeat because of this section is that this section, it's not that complicated. It's really not. I should have it. I should have it down, but I don't. I should have already finished it by now, but I didn't. It would really suck if I didn't get the time award on this one. It would really suck. But it's an A++. Spoilers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I wonder what would happen if I released these cats. No, I don't wonder that. I want to know how to kill them. I think you have to, because that one has a gem. Yeah, that's that's kind of the point. It, it's, they did kind of a, a Pandora's box set up there. Okay, I, I essentially grenaded myself in the face and I didn't die, so I don't think they're gonna die from it either. Well, I died from that one. <laughs> no, I'm not supposed to fall down with the cats, damn it! You know what, I'm, I'm just gonna wait here. And, uh, there we go! <laughs> Um, wait, I think, Where's that one, oh, yeah, I don't think you're legit supposed to come down this way, no, it's fine, unfortunately there's a little bit of lag and you're gonna see it in a moment, I would like, oh, what, wait. That was not intentional.
But, since I died... Let's get that gem I missed. Yeah, you can get that gem now. So I guess you are supposed to fall down with them. See, the thing is, these cats just can't kill you. So all they can do is hinder you. <laughs> so you can wait for them to just get nailed one by one. <sighs> or you can punch them. Or no, the mouth. That's right. He say I'll suck you right in the puss. That's what you mean, the mouth. I'll smack you in the gob. Yeah, that also means mouth. Yes. Um, I'm really confused about that one rock. Okay, I've released this dude. What do I do with him? Uh, okay, so that's one way I can go. How the heck do I get that rock there? Oh, you can... You can totally do that. Okay. <laughs> so that happened. Just when you thought you couldn't do something, it goes, oh, well, yeah, actually, you can. And, and uh, well, you, since you didn't do it, you, uh, yeah. Probably shouldn't explode yourself. Not good strategy. No, no, that, that tends to uh, get you in trouble. Or, more specifically, it tends to get you to reset the level. Also, I just finally realized why I'm hearing the frog so much. It's not because I was using it, it's because there's a cat that uses the frogs in this level. I'm not looking forward to that. Oh. Oh, come on. I, I, I'm just gonna let myself die. Yeah. Boo. Boo earns. You know, I haven't watched this since two years. I hear there's still a thing. Yep. There, there, I think this is the last season. Uh, after I don't know how many seasons, I, I would think they would eventually call it quits. Eventually. Intentional. Yep, every last second of it. That's why I'm still alive. Yeah. That's how it works, you know. The uh, the rockets chasing me at the end. That was that was just for a theatrical effect. Yeah. Gotta have some entertainment. That, however, was a mistake. If anything, this this video will serve as a demonstration of the lag. Oh god, dang it! Not again. Serve as a demonstration of the lag between uh, streamers and their viewers. Yep. 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 I hope I'm not making it too obvious. Or, you know, I mean, I guess I'm making it obvious. And I should because it makes me a bad co-host. Eh, it's, it's more like it's my fault than anything else. Wow, I, I, I'm, I'm quite appreciative of that gem thief standing right in front of the robot. Way to put yourself out of my way. He 
knew. He was all like, I'm just gonna get this over with. You're gonna get me anyway. I, I just, yeah, I just can't today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's nothing there. Time to turn. You never know where they'll hide the gems. Oh, just dang it. Is he coming back out? Yeah, okay. Damn it. Oh well. Alright, moving swiftly on. Oh. Okay. Um. I thought the rockets had less of an arc than that. Good to know. Not gonna make that mistake again. Oh yeah, god, that was just very hook. Hook it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, oh great, I'm gonna have to restart again. No, that came down. And then something else happened that looked like everything was just gonna work out and be all hunky dory, and then the rocket got me at the last second. Hey guys, guys, guys! Guess what I brought? Guess what I brought? Shaboom! Whoops! <laughs> Equipping grenades in this game is somehow more dangerous than it is in other games. It goes really well or really poorly. Basically. Whoa! Yoink! See you later. Stupid robot. We got Yoshi. Move the box just in time. Got here before Yoshi. I wonder. That's a shark. Not watch the end. Yeah, I watched it. I remember. It's a shark. Yeah, I don't know. At least it's not Sharky and George. I don't, I don't think anyone knows that cartoon. And I'm not surprised. It wasn't bad, it, there just wasn't really anything good about it. It was just kinda eh. It's about a shark and a fish. Really? I don't know I what watched this... this. I watched this cool cartoon called Fish Police. It's about a like a noir detective, except he's a fish. I see. Darn, the timing on this doesn't work out. Uh, wait. What? Oh, there it is. Whoa! Ah! I hate grenade cats. I hate grenade cats. They're so efficient at killing me. Oh, there's the gem. I'm out of here. See you cats later. Oh, there we go. Okay, now see you cats later. <laughs> I don't know how that last one died. Not questioning it. Probably was a stray rocket. Couldn't be much else, to be fair. 
Yeah, it had to be. Although I guess technically they're not ever stray rockets, they're more like rockets that didn't quite make it to me. Also, that time around I managed to get the robot to hit itself. Oh. Oh! <laughs> when you see it. Followed by, oh, I died. <laughs> yeah. At least you know how to take care of it now. Yes. I know how to take care of all those cats. I mean, uh... Actually, in the PC version, they're rotund things. They are very large. I think they were all... I think initially, originally, they were the size of um, that thief there. Really? Yeah, they were smaller originally, I think, in the 360 version. Hmm. If they haven't changed them, I might be able to... Well, actually, you could probably find a screenshot, but... I might be able to show it off in the future. Cripes! Oops. Dang, I was doing so well! What is going on here? Well, actually, that's kind of a lie, but... You know... These grenades, they're just so unsafe! I think the reality is yeah. I just don't know how to deal with the grenades in this game. Oh man, did you know you can play as Hattie in Castle Crashers? You own both hit and battle block theater? Oh really? Google. I didn't even want to throw the frog. Um, Hattie and Castle Crashers. I, why Hattie? I, I guess because he's the only recognizable character. Yeah, he's the only one that like really carries over. Maybe like a cat, but probably just Hattie. Yeah, I, th I I think the cats would carry over. I th I, th I, I I guess it's more a question of what a cat makes sense there, and I think the answer is no. But Hattie makes just about as much sense. Though. Yeah, considering what happened to him. <gasps> Spoilers. Uh. Oh no, I wasn't I wasn't thinking of what happens to him at the end actually. I was, I was just thinking of the fact that he's got a hat on and he's doing nothing because of that hat. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's spoilers because when we find him, we're going to kick his ass. And he won't want to be a hat anymore. Hey, that saw blade finally got me. Now watch me die to these spikes. <laughs> just being a little self-critical, I guess. It's okay, we're, we've all been there, plus you've been streaming for an extra 30 minutes, so the game may be getting to you. Oh, is that what happened? <laughs> yeah, I, I hope I'm not uh, preventing you from getting anywhere, because, you know, you don't have to stick around if you don't want to. No, no, it's fine. Uh, yeah. I just gotta pack some more junk. Oh yeah, when's the move and all that? It is, uh... We wanna be out of here ASAP, apparently, so... Oh, so negative one minute? Yeah. 
but uh, don't don't worry about it. I was gonna probably faff about for the next few hours anyway. Well, I'd imagine you wouldn't want to leave at like five in the morning anyway. Oh yeah, of course. Maybe I just own too much stuff. Yeah, I might want to consider getting rid of it. I, 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 I know there's stuff I want to get rid of. I'm, I'm just too lazy to list it on eBay or KGG or whatever. Is that like Craigslist but for Canada? Yeah. Um, I mean, th there is Craigslist for Canada, but it's uh, eBay's classifieds listing. And why specific to Canada? I don't know what it is. I guess I, I, I guess they wanted to make Craigslist competitor, but they wanted to test it in a smaller market. <laughs> yes, because Canada is smaller than the US. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> saying. We we don't we don't tend to get um I guess you could say we don't get to be treated as seriously for some reason. Yeah, business-wise. Yeah. It's probably because your money sucks. Because I grew up my whole life knowing that the Canadian dollar was worth less than the American dollar. That's why everything is listed twice. Yeah. Oh, wait, crap, I forgot. Yeah, killing that other cat is not optional. Nope, gotta get him. <laughs> yes, he jumped right into the rocket. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> Yoshi dragon shark thing. Yes, exactly. Take cover! Retain fire! Let's be that. that a, uh, announcer's uh, stamper line? No. no. Oh. That, that was just me being silly. Get him, frog! Woo! Technically, the frog didn't kill him. Technically, it was the bomb inside the frog. No, technically, it was on his own grenade. Because. Oh. Talking about different cats. Oh, I didn't. I didn't pay attention to whether or not the uh, the frog throwing cat got killed. Hey, I just realized this whole chapter. I don't think I've seen a uh, a secret level. Also, I no, died in the stupidest before. way. Oh, uh, okay. From the first set. Yeah. All right. Don't worry, I got your back. You're writing this stuff down? Awesome! Oh no, I'm not writing it down. <laughs> just... I know. <laughs> Alright, this is getting old, guys. Time's a charm. Oh no no no! It's not that. It's a rule of three. Yes, yes. Mario quite liked that one, didn't he? I don't know if Mario followed the rule of threes, except for three lives. Three hits on the uh, on Bowser as well. No no. 
Not in the original Mario. No, Super it's true. Mario, yeah. The original Mario, you had to shoot him with like 12,000 fireballs. Or just hit the hammer. Uh, let me see what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, I, I never really bothered with the, the, the fireball method. I mean, it's neat, but why? Because it's easier that way. Not really? Uh, uh, you're just Set. not good enough to get to Bowser without taking damage. I guess, I guess in the in, in the later levels it's it's easier because he's uh, oh well um, because he's harder to reach but I don't know I always found the hammer to be not that difficult to get to yeah true then again Very admittedly true. I'm not sure I ever legit finished Super Mario Brothers one uh, that's my secret shame as well I've never finished any of the NES Super Mario Brothers. On, on, on the console, like, I think I finished one of them by using save state, but, like, never playing it legit. Mostly mm -hmm. because, first, it's mostly because there's no saves. Like, I can't save and come back to it later. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really what made the other Mario games easier, is the fact that you can just save, come back. Yep. Put it away for a day. I don't have to dedicate my entire afternoon to beating one game. Even though I do that all the time nowadays. But, you know, I, I guess I find Payday 2 or something else to be more uh, mechanically, uh, whatchamacallit, engaging than the Mario Brothers. Well, there was that one time where I finished, I don't remember what the name of the game was, in a weekend. And subsequently I thought it was kind of meh. That, that may have been tainted by the fact that I, didn't, that, I, that I finished it so fast, but... And then I finished... Was it Jack and Daxter? I don't remember. It was, it was some PlayStation game and I also finished that in a weekend. I was like, wow, oh, that, that was kind of shit. I don't remember liking Jack and Dexter, but I understand. I don't. I don't know if it was that game. It was. It was. It, what What really um, got to me was once you got once you collected all the special items, like this, you're supposed to get 200 golden eggs or something like that. Um, you you unlocked the what was supposed to be a special ending, but there wasn't much of an ending. It's, it was just them going, <gasps> wow, and you don't even get to see what it was. <laughs> nice. That's, that's kind of funny. I don't know. I, I think none of them will be as frustrating as like the Metroid Prime 100% ending. Where, like, you have to get all the scan data. Like, have you played Metroid Prime before? Mmm... -hmm. Is that the one for the Wii that was in first person? Yes, that, that's the third Metroid Prime game. There's three of them. Oh. Okay, so which which it, one are you talking about? The first one, but I guess you could say the same with any of them, because they all have the scan visor, which is like, you know, you can scan stuff in the environment with it. Mm-hmm. And, um... Basically, to get 100%, you have to scan everything, which, why would you want to push that through the wall? I, I don't know, it, it, it semi-glitched through, and I was like, oh, can I do it, can I do it? And then it didn't <laughs> want to happen, and it ruined my fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm sorry the game took away your fun. Do you think Steam is going to fix their dumb sales system for this next one coming up? Dumb sales system. four days. 
Yeah, they, they like got rid of flash sales and like I want to buy games for a nickel that are supposed to be sixty dollars. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um. What was the reason for that anyway? They were saying that um, if the average sale percent is higher, then um, and they they make it the same. They're basically saying that you'll get more sales if the average percent off is higher or longer than they got with the flash sale, where everybody bought like Assassin's Creed for like twenty five cents. Hmm. So to answer your question, profit margin. Yeah, which is odd, because, no, I guess it makes sense. The moment someone notices the flash sale, they tell all their friends, hey, and then everyone buys it at pennies. Yeah, but I like that. I like being able to get games that I'm not going to play for, like, a nickel. <laughs> I, 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 I think the flash sale concept could have worked better if it was like, uh, I don't want to say an exclusive sale, but if it was like only certain number of quantity of people actually see it. God dang it, I keep thinking that's a safe platform. So if, for example, uh, Assassin's Creed got a flash sale, then, you know, maybe... F I don't know, 100 people, 1,000 people can actually buy it at that price. Everyone else doesn't see that particular sale. Yeah, but that, I don't know. I think that would piss off a lot of people because they'd be like, well, how come we don't get to the sale? What if I want to buy it for my friend or whatever? Eh. If, it's, if it really is as reduced a price sale as I remember them being, then... I think that'd be justification enough. Like, hey, you're getting this super cheap. Or rather, someone else's, so can you really blame us for wanting to limit the quantities on that? Yes, they can. They can yell at Gavin, and then Gavin will be sad. I didn't know Gavin could be saddened. I thought he was he ultimate can. god. No, no, no. <laughs> Ultimate God game. Oh boy. Now remember, the platform with the robot is not a safe platform. Two things happened there that I didn't even intend to happen. And I'm happy about it. So happy. Not only did the robot smack itself with a rocket, but I found a hidden gem. Yep. Yep. Pretty happy about that one. Look, ma! It's an A++! Spoilers! <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no final boss tonight? <laughs> Not happening, no. I don't think I can handle that right now. As much as I'd like to try. There, that'll be a good face for next time. Just to remind me of the horrors that lie therein. I like it. <laughs> I honestly. Well, anyway. Well, Alright! If I want to experience the game, that means I gotta beat it before next Thursday. Well, you can Next still play Friday. it afterwards. Well, yeah, but... If I want to beat it before you do, that is. To prove how good of a gamer a gamer person I am. Oh. Well, that's already shot. I mean, you gave me a copy of... 
Super Meat Boy of all things. I'll, I'll just like outplay you on that. You're gonna outplay me on Super Meat Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Not happening, he says. Not yes. happening. <laughs> oh, and 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 and. Well, technically, I also have to do all the um the encores as well. Yeah, that's true. If you want to get the one hundred percent super secret ultra ending, there is one. <gasps> Spoilers. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time.